What's up guys, Sam Rebels Off-Road. I'm doing my long-term review on From the Ground Up's clutch for our 2018 Brute Force. We put From the Ground Up's clutch on our Brute Force about a year ago in some change, and we've put a lot of very hard hours on our bike since then. take it apart inspect see how it's held up also I'm gonna tell you exactly what the benefits of these clutches and how I'm liking it but first I'm gonna do the old youtuber thing and ask you to like this video and subscribe to the channel you may not know it but subscribing and liking the video goes a long way with helping us grow and expand the channel there's some YouTube algorithm thing that takes it all into account you're boring everybody quit boring everyone so if you like our videos make sure to smash that like button and subscribe so without further ado let's get right into it all right, so first thing first, what does the clutch do? When you put larger, heavier tires on your four-wheeler, you might notice that your four-wheelers start bogging down. This is because the gear ratio on the clutch isn't right for your tires. It's basically fine-tuned for the stock tires. On the Brute Force, those are 25s. But when you start getting up into like 27s or 30s or even bigger tires, it just really isn't designed to turn those tires like it would stock. So that's where clutch kits come in. Clutch kits will change out the spring or machine the sheaves so you have a different gear ratio putting power to the tires. Can I get a more power, baby? I personally went with From the Ground Up. So first off, before you all get all riled up, V-Force John this, V-Force John that. <laughs> Well, V-Force John wouldn't do my clutch when I asked him. He said he was much too busy and he didn't have enough time to answer my question. So I went ahead and reached out to Jason Coleman, who was more than happy to answer any of my questions. Asked me a bunch of questions as to how I use the machine, what I'd be doing with it, my style of riding, etc., etc. So he would know exactly what to do to the clutch to make it perform like I wanted. He also was able to have a quick turnaround time, which is always great. I've also heard that V-Force John is no longer making clutches for the brute force. So from the ground up, Jason Coleman might be your only option. I honestly can't confirm these rumors myself though because shortly after me talking to Jason Coleman, Force John actually blocked me on Facebook and quit responding to my emails. Stop, don't, come back. Just because I was talking to Jason Coleman and Jason Coleman was answering my questions and giving me good customer service, which Force John apparently didn't like. Heck, you might even get blocked by Force John for just watching this video, so beware. Sorry about the little sidetrack. Fear we get that out of the way first. That way we can just talk about this clutch and what it does for your brute force as well as how well it's holding up for the rest of the video. So my clutch needed a complete overhaul, complete rebuild. All the wear parts were super wore down. The sheaves on it were all dinged up and messed up. I'll show a picture right here of just how bad of a condition it was in. From the ground up was able to machine it out and get it working good as new. One of the great things about this mod is you don't really have to use high gear anymore. The overdrive that's machined into the low gear, it takes off faster and it pulls a lot farther in low gear. So I actually hardly ever have to use high gear anymore. Unless I'm on like hard packed pavement, stuff like that, I'm gonna be in low gear 90% of the time. Give me a second to pull the four wheeler out and we'll do a little pull in low gear to show you what I mean. So I'm gonna try to keep an eye on this gauge and I'm gonna lean all the way forward so it doesn't come off the ground as much. I'm in a neighborhood so I'm not gonna probably go up to full speed but you'll get an idea on how quickly it accelerates. All right, ready? One, two, three, go! <laughs> to get the front wheels up off the ground on takeoff. That'll happen a lot when you stab the throttle on these brute forces. And especially with this clutch mod, it just wants to stand right up. So you gotta keep that in mind. On the acceleration, I did let off a little bit before continuing the power through. As you can see, I let off at about 45. I'm in a neighborhood, so I don't wanna go too fast in it. But we could have gone even faster in low gear without topping out if we had kept on it. Keep in mind, I have bigger tires on this and I haven't had the speedo calibrated for these tires. So when you see 45 on the speedo, it actually is going much faster than that. Probably around 50, 52 miles per hour, somewhere around there, just due to the upsize and tire. Another great thing about this clutch mod is it lessens the belt wear. A lot of people have to replace their belt from smoking it when they add bigger tires. <laughs> This clutch actually clamps onto the belt tighter and prevents a lot of the slipping that you see with bigger, heavier tires. I'm actually still on my original belt and we haven't seen any excessive slipping or smoking of the belt, but we're about to open it up and see what condition it's in. So we gotta get this clutch cover off. I'm gonna take off this clamp here that holds on the snorkel. There are these 10 millimeter bolts all the way around. 
We're gonna remove those and go ahead and pull off this cover. I'm just gonna set the camera up and we'll get right into it. this box now and see what the condition of the clutch is. Pop off the, the boot here. Now keep in mind I have not even opened this box in over a year so there might be a bunch of dust in it. We might have to blow it out but let's get this off and we'll take a look. Okay there we go. So just got the belt box off and haven't touched it yet. There's probably a bunch of dirt and stuff in here. I'm already seeing some. Look at that. Just like some belt dust. Not too bad. So we're going to just go ahead and blow it all out. Blow it up! Get all the dust out of there. Well, you should do that every so often anyways. We let it go pretty long without doing it. Even your stock clutches need to be blown out every once in a while. Dust gets in it and it wears down your clutch sheaves a lot faster. All right, blew most of the dust out of it. Let's take a closer look. This is his billet clutch cover. You can see it looks really nice. Ooh, shiny. I know V-Force John was claiming this would blow apart, but that just simply is not true. Billet aluminum is much stronger than cast aluminum. The stock one's cast aluminum, and this is billet, and even with these holes cut into it, it's a lot stronger than the OEM. I do like how those holes are, because that leaves these ribbing for reinforcement, but it also takes a lot of weight out of this cover. Look a little closer at it. All looks pretty good. A little bit of wear along there. That's pretty normal. There's not really any big gouges or anything like that. The sheaths are nice and clean. There's no grooving that I can see. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed with how well it's been holding up. We've been beating on it this past year and it's held up. It has powered through it and it's just really done a good job of keeping the tires turning as well as not wearing. But you can see, even after a year of hard riding, these clutches are much, much, much better than what they were. This is a 2018 and I bought it brand new at the end of 2018. So I had put about a year, year and a half worth of riding on the stock clutch before upgrading to this clutch here. During that same period of time, I put even harder miles on this clutch kit and this is the result. So I'm really impressed with this clutch and how it works and how it's held up. Now I'd love to have the opportunity to compare head to head V-Force John's clutch kit and from the ground up. So if any of y'all have a V-Force John clutch kit on your bike and have similar mods to me, I would love to get together compare some numbers, maybe tug of war or a drag race or something along those lines would be great. But really from the ground up completely transform this bike with his clutch kit. I'm not so certain that V-Force John would be that much more of an improvement than what I have here. That's it for today's video. If you like the video, smash that like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you're already subscribed, thanks and see you next time.